Hi everyone, today we are talking about flow and in this video we're going to be taking a particular look at the manager tab. The manager tab in flow is where all of your resources are kept and just to kind of jog your memory there, our resources are our individual variables of data. So they could be things like um, a string, so some text or a number, uh, perhaps currency, perhaps a record itself, or collections of records or things like that. Um, you know, with talking about variables, we're talking about constants or formulas or all of that sort of thing, that's all resources. Now, in our manager tab, this is where all of our resources are kept, um, and they're kind of broken up into certain terms which we're going to be covering in this video. So the first type of resource which we can find in our manager tab is variables. And variables are where you can store data that we're going to be using in Flow. As we were saying before, these can be texts, numbers, records, dates, currencies, uh, booleans as well, uh, pick lists, just to kind of name a few of them. You can make a variable a collection variable which means that it's holding multiple variables for multiple different records, but you have to remember that they've got to be of the same data type. So you might have a collection variable of booleans or a collection variable of currencies, um, which are all of that kind of value or that variable from a bunch of different records. Now, if you wanted to have a collection where you had a kind of collection of different variables within it, so you might want to have, you know, Boolean, text, and um, currency, and then have a collection of all of three of those. Then you can use the data type record, which means that you can store multiple field values for one record in a collection. Now, collections are obviously the groups of the lists of variables that are stored together, and they're really awesome because they allow us to process multiple records at once. This is also known as bulkifying your flows. Now our third different type of resource here is called constants. And constants, as the name suggests, are values that you set once and then they never change. They are constant. Constants are really useful when you want to refer to a single value multiple times throughout your flow and you know that you don't want that value to change. But if you ever did need to change that value, then you need to just change it once and it will be reflected throughout the entire flow. So the idea there is that that value is constant. Formulas are the next type of resource that we have. And a formula displays a dynamic value depending on other values that you have in your flow. If you need to calculate a future date, for example, based on when a flow was run, then a formula is going to be super helpful. If you need to calculate and set currency based on interest rates, then that's another example of when a formula can be used. Our final type of resource here is choices. And choices are used within the screen elements of Flow to display an option to the user. So that's it on the Manager tab in Flow. Again, the Manager tab is where we keep our resources that's variables, collections, constants, formulas, and choices. And in our next video, we're going to be talking about the kind of brother or sister tab to the manage tab, which is the elements tab. So I'll see you there.